is it about you and Grand Slams? Uh, something about Grand Slams, I don't know. I think uh, both of my Grand Slams have been with 3-2 uh, counts, so I know they're going to throw it right down the middle with them fastballs, so just expecting that. You mind sharing what Coach said to you when you were up there at the plate? <laughs> well, I didn't specifically hear it, but there's uh, three people to vouch for him. Uh, I think they. I think he initially said uh, he was gonna walk uh, Zane, and then right when I come up to hit, I was gonna go go over the fence with that one. So off the scoreboard is what he said. <laughs> off the scoreboard, I think I heard that. I remember that one. Uh, being able to get a 10-run win, what does that do for this team? Oh, that is such a such a great feeling for us, especially after uh, this past weekend against Air Force. I mean, we needed this. This is this will be our spark against Iona, and uh, we'll be ready to go come this weekend. First win, uh, first home Eddie, win. you're my hero. I keep saying that. First home win <laughs> for uh, Coach Rastana. What's it mean? just to get him oh that's yeah. phenomenal we've been talking about this ever since the fall probably the end of the fall it's like we got to get coaches his wins I mean he deserves it he deserves it all and uh, just right now this proves how much we mean to him and how much he means to us so we're ready to fight for him pretty much really a huge amount of credit the five through nine hitters drove in 12 runs today just the guys that contributed from Ivan uh, yeah. to Matt to those guys at the bottom rock as well. I think they needed that uh, that was huge for them and I'm uh, so proud of them so uh, so excited for them as well you know getting their at bats and every time they step up in the box they're just uh, taking advantage of whatever they can especially in the box and uh, that's great great for them big home stands in progress right now eight more games what kind of mark can you make staying here at Bishop Stadium for as long as you uh, uh, we're, we're looking to sweep uh, whoever we play we're looking to win the game we're t uh, of course we're taking each game one at a time but with that being said we're coming here ready to go and we're 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 fighting to win every single game First home win as Navy head coach, how do you feel? I feel good. I think considering how the last few games went, um, winning baseball games is hard, and I know you'll hear that at every level of baseball, but I, that's because it's true. And even though that game kind of swung in our favor early, it seemed it was in the balance. When you have games that you've got a, for one of the only times this year, you've got a pretty favorable win to hit, and you, know, you don't feel exactly comfortable uh, with a big lead because one swing can change it. So it was good to see the guys kind of bounce back. I think we pitched pretty well for all but two innings, but we've got to find a way to clean up some of those innings that turn into crooked numbers. 12 runs batted in by your five through nine hitters. The contributions from Brock, from Ivan, from those guys. Just what did that mean for this team? Well, when you can string at bats together, it's really, that's when you can score double digit runs. Um, if it's just the top of your order or if you have some gaps in there and you're not able to pass the bat, get contributions from everybody one through nine, it's hard to put crooked numbers up. So having those guys hit down at the bottom of the order and produce was a big part of the difference in today's game. Uh, with Ivan driving in four runs today, what did you like about his effort? Well, I mean, before the game, you know, he had been banged up and this is really our first opportunity to kind of get him in there. So we knew that Murtha was going to be on call to pitch. So we wanted to get Ivan out there at second base. It's good that he can play multiple infield positions. Yeah. We were missing that. Um, he just kind of gets in there and puts quality at bats together. You know, he, he throttled that ball down here to left field, but you know, he kind of, he kind of just poked one over there. He, he can be a difficult, a difficult at bat for hitters because he kind of knows how to two strike adjust and he just puts the ball in play. So it was really good to see him get in there and have some productive success. Before that grand slam, what did you say to Eddie when he was at the plate? I didn't say anything to Eddie, but you can ask the guys in our dugout when Rob was hitting. I said, hey, here it is. Rob is going to get on and Eddie's going to hit a grand slam. I know everybody thinks they called it and everybody calls home runs, but you need to ask the guys who are sitting next to me on the bench that Eddie's going to leave the yard and this one's going to be over. So I'm going to take that to my grave that my first win here at Max Bishop Stadium, I called the walk-off grand slam. That's a fact. <laughs> While he was at the plate, I heard off the scoreboard from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. Yes. Um, it's not one of my usual coaching cues, but I thought, Hey, Eddie, you know, and quite honestly, he had a, he had a tough day, yeah. but he's a mature kid who doesn't give it bats away. And we just knew at some point, if you give him enough opportunities, he's going to throttle something. And when it got to that point, I said, hey, just let it rip, man. It's 3-1 and then it's 3-2. I said, just let it rip. Like, let the barrel go and try to do some damage. And I'm really glad that he did. In the best way possible, your first win at Bishop <laughs> Stadium is a walk-off win. Yes, yes, beautiful. <laughs> I, um... I'll settle for plenty of quiet ones or loud ones or walk-off ones. I will, I'll take them any way we can get them.